All right, today we're gonna to be ordering real numbers. You are going to fill out this part right here in uh, from the slideshow, talking about the different ways that they can say least to greatest or greatest to least. Key things you need to know whenever we order real numbers, we always start with converting them all to decimal form. Once they're in decimal form, then we can think about money. Let's do an example. So this first example says, order the following values from least to greatest. So I have the square root of 72. I need to convert that to decimal so I can go to my calculator. The way we do square root in our calculator is we hit control X with the little two and then type in our number. So the square root of 72 is 8.48528. However, I wanna think about money and money only has two decimal places, so I'm gonna round this number to 8.49. Next, I'm gonna convert 3 elevenths Three elevenths as a decimal is 0 0.27. The next one is done for me, negative 3.13. I have 328% and that equals 3.28. And then last but not least, I have negative three and a third. Whenever we convert that, we leave the whole number out and we only convert that fraction piece. So one third as a fraction is 0.33. So now I'm going to look at these values and I'm going to determine which ones which one is the least value here so if i'm thinking about money i have two negative values so those are going to be the least the bigger the negative number the smaller it is so the smallest number i have here is negative three and a third that means negative 3.13 goes next So now I have 8.49, 0 0.27, or 3.28. Thinking about money, the smallest amount of money up there is um, 27 cents. So it'd be 3 over 11. Then the 3.28 would go next, so 328%. And then lastly, 8.49, which is the square root of 72. This is all the values in order from least to greatest. My second example, we're gonna use the table that shows the area of three triangles and we're gonna put them in order from greatest to least. So now I wanna make them in order from biggest number to smallest number. Looking at my uh, areas, I notice that they are not all in decimal form. So that's gonna be my first step. Negative 2.73 is done for me. Then I have five over two, which is a fraction. So I'm gonna go on my calculator. I'm gonna type in five over two, convert that to a decimal and I get 2.5. I wanna make it look like money. So I'm going to put a zero at the end it does not change the value of that number. Then the last one, I have the square root of six, which when I round is equal to 2.45. So now that they are all in decimal form, I can think about money and I can put them in order from greatest amount to least amount. So the greatest amount of money is $2.50, so that's first then $2.45, and then lastly, negative $2.73. So my order would be B, C, A. Couple things I wanna show you. Let's say you see this on your assignment you're about to work on. How would I put that in my calculator? You can literally type it in exactly how it looks. Three, square root of 12 and hit enter. 
So what it really does is three times the square root of 12, and that gives me 10.39. Now you will work on the assignment that has been sent to you on Google Classroom.